I'm so glad someone said that. When guys throw a strop, it, it's also so unattractive. There, there are other positions, obviously, that are, are good, but I prefer it. Every guy who's ever asked me if I have hasn't given me one. I guess, so, my ring light's not as bright today because I've had a headache all, or actually a migraine all day, but I feel better now, so I decided to film. And I wanted to talk about a podcast that I started watching clips of on TikTok. So it's called Just Another Group Chat. So it was such an interesting conversation that I really wanted to react to some of the clips. Oh, this is going to be a proper girl chat sort of video. So if you're uncomfortable with that, I'll catch you in the next one. So let's start. All men should know this. I can speak for all women when I say silent sex is never okay. Never. It's vile. Never. Yes. Okay. I'd never experienced this. I'd only ever counted this once and it genuinely creeped me out. I was like, it really puts you off because first of all, you wonder if you're doing something wrong. And also it sort of kills the mood because if you're the only one seemingly enjoying yourself and the other person's just like, it's fucking weird. Like I said, it's only ever happened to me like once, but you don't have to dirty talk or anything like that, but you should at the very least be heavy breathing or moaning or something. But when you're just silent, it's a mood killer. Men should know where the c*** is. I mean, again, come on. I'm starting to think this is a f conspiracy against men. How can you not know where it is? Like, it's so absurd. So, this is definitely a thing. This is so a thing. This has been more than one person that's done this, so I'm not putting this down to any one person. But I have been with people before where they try to massage it and they're like massaging bone way above. Like just have a little look around. It's really obvious. It doesn't move. It Genuinely doesn't move. believe migrating south for the winter. <laughs> like it's almost like they want to do it badly so they don't have to do it at all. So you want them to stop early or because they just want the attention on themselves because I've had that before. If she gags, that is not a sign to push it further in. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. If she gags, she's going to be sick. Are, she's going to be sick on you. Know. It's so true. There are guys that are literally just say like, I'll just keep going. And it's like, um, I'm going to be sick if I carry on going. I need to take a breather for a second. If anyone has ever tried to push my head down, I have literally pulled way back. No, 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 no. That's not how this game's gonna work. Why do people cheat? There's been analysis revealed eight key reasons. Need for variety. Oh, piss off, man. It's not breakfast cereal. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I can kind of get that. <laughs> breakfast cereal? But don't buy the big box if what you want is all the little boxes. Okay. Ooh. I can understand it both ways. I can understand if you are in a toxic relationship with your partner, but feel like you have to stay in it for financial reasons or for the kids, like even though I never think that staying in a toxic uh, marriage for kids is a good reason because it ends up just being toxic for the children as well. Like so many people that are from broken homes, it's not a big deal. It's how you deal with it. Like just as long as you're adults and you don't bicker and, and cause rifts in front of your children, you're, it, that's a lot, lot healthier. I am sort of a person I don't ever want to be cheated on. I don't think it's okay to cheat in a relationship. And I definitely don't think it's okay to cheat because some guys, you know, the Andrew Tate sort of esque people think that, you know, they apparently need sex more than their partner and therefore they think it's okay to cheat. Like, yeah, no, I don't think that's okay either. Boys are just as bad for checking when they're online when they've been left in bed. <gasps> I is. Like no. Oh, no. This like, is major news this or like from for all females. The They're just as bad as used for getting left on red and ghosted and all of that. Checking if like the WhatsApp things online and stuff and typing. Do you know the yeah. typing and not typing thing? Oh, when yeah. you're looking at it and they start yeah. typing, you go, oh, quick. Yes. That's life changing for some women. Boys are just the same, just as bad. I never used to be like this until I got back into the dating game. When I was with someone for seven years, never even considered this was a thing. It was only when you're, you've been consistently ghosted, okay? I feel like you end up having almost trauma from it because you get so paranoid. And I've done it, the last few people I've dated is that I've seen that they've read my text and then gone away or whatever and ignored me for hours and hours and hours and, and but have come back online multiple times because I've, I've checked them like, oh, maybe they just haven't been online or whatever. And I check them like, oh, they were online like 10 minutes ago and they haven't texted me back in like five hours. Well, that's fucking rude. <laughs> I think women are worse about it, but it's nice to know that we're not alone. <laughs>
We're not mentioning toys. Please. Yeah, toys cheating. No. That's, toys cannot be cheating. Toys are not cheating. That's like saying masturbating is cheating. If people think masturbating is cheating, there is something wrong with you. It's like when people say like, oh, watching porn as well is cheating. No, it's fucking not. It's just stimulus. For some women, they like to read erotic books. Some men like to watch porn. I watch porn. Like, it's not a fucking big deal. And masturbating and using toys is not cheating. Like, if you're in that kind of relationship, the person must be very controlling. Foreplay is important. Who the f*** <laughs> doesn't know that foreplay is important? Some people, Laura. It's like preheating the oven before you put your pizza in. It definitely is. But there have been times where it's like, if you just want a quickie in the morning or something, you don't need to do the whole foreplay thing. But there has to be a little bit of foreplay, because otherwise you're like, you haven't built up the mood. That's the nicest way to put it. Real sex is not as good as real sex. It's just not. It's Boys. It's real sex. <laughs> but, it's all real sex. Right, okay. Real <laughs> sex is not as good. And every boy in the world will agree with us this. It's the novelty. I'm so glad someone said that. I genuinely hate when men turn around and say like, oh yeah, women love it. And I'm like, sorry, how do you know? Are you the person reciprocating it? Because if you're not, the person could be lying just to like not bruise your ego. Because I mean, women fake orgasms too. <laughs> I feel like you do that in your late teens, early 20s because you feel like you kind of have to because otherwise the guy's ego is like proper deteriorated. By the time you get into your 30s, especially or late 20s, early 30s, I feel like if the person isn't going to do it for you, you just make sure you do it yourself. I'm fine does not mean I'm fine. They all know that. I'm, no, 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 no. Some guys don't. Yeah. I'm fine means I'm raging. Yeah. Why do women say we're fine <coughs> when we're not fine? You're clearly not fine. But there's that push and pull between how you're actually feeling and your genuine emotions. And how you've been taught And how you've been conditioned to <gasps> sit down and show off. Someone asked me this the other day because I say I'm fine a lot. And someone literally turned around to me and said, like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely fine. I'm just in the middle of doing like shopping or whatever. It was just a quick response. I know what they mean. Like there is that I'm fine. <laughs> that they're not fine. <laughs> but if you say I'm fine over text or like, yeah, I'm fine. It can just be a neutral. Like I'm not, I'm not like really happy or really sad. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm at my neutral zone. What women should know is when we go to bed, it's sleepy time. Not time to ask me a million questions. I know girls that just want to have a conversation with their partner off man that's not what bedtime is for oh my god i love to when i used to have a partner that i used to sleep next to i used to love having a little chat before going to bed because actually having a little chat used to follow on to us being in the mood and then going to bed afterwards so i don't think they were that pissed off about it anyway but like i don't know there's something about before you go to bed chat i know like you may probably talk or chat during the whole day but there's just something about it that's really nice I miss it, honestly. Don't make them your whole life. Definitely not. <laughs> like, this is something I accidentally fell into. And I think that's why before I've been so broken up about relationships breaking down. It's taken me so long. It's because they literally become my whole world and my whole life. And I've had to sort of break that habit. It's unhealthy. So yeah, 100%. Do women want to be on top? No. I don't mind it, you know. I don't mind it. I prefer it. <laughs> there, there are a lot of positions, obviously, that are, are good. But I prefer it because it means that I have a lot of control over my orgasm. Because a lot of men just don't get it that has to be stimulated 99% of the time because otherwise you will not orgasm. And don't get me wrong, I feel like some porn is just sort of like <sighs> cause some men to think that women can just come from simply just penetration. And, but it's it's rare. It's really rare. Women want to c*** first. Yeah. I just like to c*** it all, to be honest. <laughs> yes. And multiple times. 100%. Ma mainly because, and this is simply because, I've found with every guy I've ever dated, once they've come, they are not interested in continuing any other sex. So if you don't, before they do, you will not have an orgasm. So I feel like that is 100% why. It's fascinating to me, and honestly, where are all these men? <laughs> where the guy will say, oh, well, once I've reached my inevitable conclusion, they just continue on with their partner. And I'm like, sorry, where are these men? Like, c can I sign up? I've never met one. <laughs> Do women care if during sex a man loses his heart on? No. What do women want when that happens? Carry on with her for them to feel comfortable enough with you that they're not embarrassed by it. A hundred percent happens. A thought could enter their mind that completely kills their mood. Or it could just be that, like they get a, a cramp in their leg or something. But what annoys the hell out of us, and I think they say this. I want you to talk to us, mm -hmm. basically. I don't want you to get in a f huff and then somehow make it feel like it's my fault. And the guy throws a strop 
of like, oh, we, we're now not going to do anything because they've gone soft. Like, if you've gone soft, just continue on with the woman. Eventually, it will come back and you can continue. Also, that will likely stimulate you anyway because you're turning on and giving your partner an orgasm. And when guys throw a strop, it, it's also so unattractive. Act as if it's our fault that they've lost it. It makes us be like, well, now I don't want to have sex with you either. Should they be asking, did you have an orgasm? No. If you've got to ask, the answer's no. Do you want us to lie? Because we will. No. Don't and ask if you don't want to know the answer. If you don't know if she's going on. Would you lie? She hasn't. Would you lie? I've lied. All I do is lie. Yeah, a hundred percent. I feel like every guy who's ever asked me if I have hasn't given me one because they'll know. I think most women. I mean, I don't necessarily know this. Let me know in a comment if I'm if I'm a hundred percent wrong. But I feel like definitely vocal at that moment, and therefore a hundred percent. I feel like if you don't know, you didn't do it. Secret habits of women. There was a lot of this. Cyberstalk. Checking your ex's socials. I used to do that all the time. And not just like someone who I've just dated, but genuinely out of curiosity, I'm just like, oh, I wonder how so-and-so's doing. And I'll go onto their Facebook and have a look just to see if they're still at the same job or if they've got a new girlfriend or, you know, if they're even still living in the UK. One of my exes moved to Germany. <laughs> so it's not out of genuine just, are they dating someone? Like, it's out of genuine interest. Like, how are they doing? Because I cared about this person for a really long time. For quite a few of my exes, I was in love with them. And therefore, I just want to know if they're okay. I still have that care for them. Not all of them. There's two I hate now that I've blocked on air. Well, actually, I've blocked almost all of my exes now. By like two, I, we left on neutral terms. Uh, everyone else is blocked. <laughs> but like, I've blocked this person on literally every single social media because I never, ever want to talk to them again. I, I, it doesn't necessarily, like I say, has, have to be like your cyber stalking in a bad way. There are some other ones, but I'm just not comfortable necessarily talking about those today. If you enjoyed the girl chat, let me know and maybe I'll do this again. There's probably going to be more and more clips. I don't really watch podcasts because they're so long winded and I pre personally prefer edited content. So I love clips like that. And there's another one. What is it called? I'll put it here. There is another one where it's, it's a similar thing, but it's guys chatting. And I feel like I want to commentate to some of the things that are said there as well. So if you want to see that, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you feel like it. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in the next one.